Hola amigos, it's Will here from Will's Custom Figures coming at you today with another big bad breakdown of, for me, two of the all-time WWF Attitude Era greats to the for me, define that era and jump out to me as two of the most recognizable superstars, characters, announcers, referees, whatever you call them. For this era, they jump out with personality, charisma, and they get all of my nostalgia buttons ticking and oh man i've loved working on these guys so thank you firstly to paul who commissioned me to work on these guys and i'd like to start with the one and the only the montreal screwjob himself il hebner this really is for me such a treat to see how well it turned out I was asked to work on him and to do that sort of early 90s era El Hebner. I personally have a, a bit of an affiliation for the um, the one that was sort of a bit of a... Him and Stokos Steve Austin had a little bit of a friendship in the late 90s. And I think that the detail on the face is phenomenal. Uh, my customer Paul sent me um, these. They were already made up. I'm not sure who made the original cast, but as you can see, there's pins in the arm. So everything slots back together quite nicely. And then there's full articulation. You can separate it, all the different parts. It makes it a lot easier to work with and to actually create all of the details needed. I used a gloss on the, on the boots to make the shoes look like they're shiny, like they've been um, maybe uh, shoe shined with some uh, polish. And quite a simple one to work on. But also, Il Hebner is a arm fell off. Il Hebner is a bit of a legend so I wanted to make sure I put a lot of effort into getting the face details there and um, there is quite a lot of detail and paint work that's gone into making sure that that mouth and the teeth are in there um, really stands out. The eyes as well did a little bit of research into like Il Hebner's eye colour there really isn't that much online that you can see but this guy didn't take me too long because it was only a paint job. I didn't do any of the sculpting on this, but I definitely wanted to feature him because I'm super impressed and super proud of how it's turned out. Probably took me about three hours or so to paint. Um, and uh, I, I usually do it like a conveyor belt. So I'll line up four or five of my figures um, or up to sort of 20, 30 sometimes at a time and paint them all in one go, paint all the eyelashes, paint all of the whites of the eyes, etc. And um, I feel that's what sort of, you know, you start on the first one and by the time you've got to the last one, you're on point with all of the eyelashes or all of the pupils or the irises or whatever it may be that you're adding. So now moves on to ha oh, one of the, the most standout characters puppies of all time there will be never never another announcer that stands out to me and makes such an impact i think than jerry the king lola this guy really personifies that attitude era heel you know even if you're looking before that area all the stuff that he did in memphis he stands out to me um just as one of the biggest characters of that era you know whenever you saw this guy get beaten up whether or not it was mankind doing it whether it was brett the hitman heart all the different feuds that he had over the years um th this for me is like the definitive king uh, i hope you like all of the details that um, i did on the pants here didn't want to go too crazy i'm sure Somebody, if they used uh, decals, could probably do a little bit better of a, of a job. Um, but I just wanted to hand paint everything, and I'm really pleased with how it turned out. I wanted to try to get all of that crazy face detail that um, King's expressions <laughs> always show off on television whenever he's behind the commentary booth. And as you can see, the crown has turned out quite nicely as well. I'll give you a little shot of the back. Back hair as well, very gross. Uh, still got all the original Hasbro um, information on there, terms and conditions and everything. And the hair, just a little tip for any of you guys that are painting brown hair. I'll move these around a little bit. If you are ever painting brown hair, there you go. Il Hebner's uh, head's come off. It's a uh, Alstow's going to come along and uh, get a new mannequin any minute. If you are ever painting hair, it's always worth using a green and a brown, mixing them together and then adding a black quite often hair does have lots of different colours in there and um, I always think that a, a bit of green sort of like takes away from um, the 
um, sort of the, the the fakeness that you can sometimes get i don't even know if that's a word of just using a brown brown sometimes doesn't really get across all of the tones and all the different details in somebody's haircut like the blonde hints and hues that you might find when um when looking at somebody's hair there are lots of different colors in hair and i think that um having a little bit of green in there really does help that pop now all in all i think Jerry Lawler stands about five inches tall and Il Hebner, he is about four and a half to the point. Jerry the King Lawler, of course, took a little bit longer to paint because of the details on the paintwork on the crown and everything else. And um, he also comes with an accessory little microphone that was hand painted there as well. Guys, that is it for me for today the history of these guys made it an important piece of work an important commission for me to get right and to do justice hopefully you feel i've done that the articulation is still there as you would expect from a hasbro figure and um, i'm really really pleased with how these both have turned out all of the information that you want on how to make your own can be sourced online if you want to reach out to me in the comment section below please drop me a message i would love to hear from any of you ask me any questions you've got and i'd love to see if you attempt at making your own ones as well please like me on instagram and facebook and i look forward to seeing you guys on the next one thank you for watching take it easy see you soon